I need to stop being so immature, you know that? What is going on everyone, Harrison Brown back again and today we are going somewhere pretty exciting. Today we're going to Castle Stalker. It's a 3 a.m. today, so it's 3 a.m. in the morning. Really, really still night. I think we're gonna get an amazing reflection on the water. It's gonna be incredible. So we're heading off, 3 a.m., let's go. Good morning, guys. Good news, I have arrived, and bad news, I almost hit two deer on the way here. Literally, one of them was standing on the side of the road. The other one jumped right out in front of me. It was absolutely mad. I missed it by like this much, so be really, really careful when you come here. And um, and have a look at this. Look at all the lambs. Look at all the babies. So, gonna walk up to this castle at the moment. It's just up this way. Um, we're just gonna walk to it at the moment and it looks stunning from here. It looks amazing I've got a couple of lenses, so we'll try a couple of different shots, but right now it just looks incredible I'm not sure if you can see this guys that kind of yellowy orange blob just there That is actually the moon and it's been Sort of setting off some amazing colors when the clouds going over it and it's sort of glowing up the back of the clouds really really eerie and Take a look at this. You're gonna want to see this boom that is the castle just there. I'm just walking up to it at the moment. Um, and we're gonna go to a couple of photography spots that I want to get some really, really nice photos of this, really nice landscape shots. All of them will be featured on my Instagram. And then I'm gonna get the drone up and get some really nice cinematic stuff. But let's get there first and get these images. Guys, you have got to see this reflection. I'm gonna show you it. I'm gonna take a photo of it, but this, this is unreal. Look at this, look at this. Look at that. So guys, I've had to switch to my 24 to 70 just so I can get more range, sort of draw the app stop down, get some really nice silky smooth um, sort of landscape shots. But look behind me, look, look at the castle. Look at how incredible it is. So I'm gonna get the drone up. I'm gonna get some cinematic sequences after a couple more photos. The sun is rising just over here. I'm not sure if you can see, it's getting a lot brighter over there, but this photography spot is insane. And look at this composition, right? I've got this to this. Insane. Look at those colors. Look at those shades of pink and purple. Incredible texture. So I'm really, really excited. I've got incredible landscape. I'm gonna get the drone up. Let's do it. Guys, we have got some incredible landscape photos. Really, really nice long exposure. The sea looks really milky, the colors in the background. I'm so excited to show you guys these photos on my Instagram, HP Life Lens. We're gonna get the drone up one more time, get some photos with it, take it around the castle a little bit, explore, and then we're gonna go up to Glencoe Valley, get some nice shots in Glencoe Valley. And it's nuts, there's calves like over here. Just like, see that? Mental. But guys, this is genuinely one of the best photographs I've ever taken. Like, I am so excited. Whew. Right, Stay back. And too much what is this? Means. That's Jordan Peterson, by the way. That that guy is insane. Right, okay. Anyway, I'm gonna do a UE 
go straight to Glencoe, let's find some secret spots and let's get the drone up again. So, I have just pulled over at the side of the road. If you can see this here, right in front of us, it's quite bright, let me just ND filter this. That, just here, is the PAP of Glencoe, right? So that is the, the uh, big mountain that I climbed in one of my previous vlogs. And actually, I'm looking here at the moment, just at this lake, kind of right here, Glencoe, and the reflections are absolutely crazy. So I'm gonna run out and get some amazing shots again for my Instagram. I don't think I'll be able to get the drone up here. I just, I don't think it's allowed. There's too many people around. I don't wanna disturb anyone. And then we'll go straight into the valley and get some amazing drone shots, amazing photos, but the lighting and the reflection, wait, two seconds, I'll, I'll just show you. Look at these reflections, guys. There's Pap just there. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that reflection. Isn't that stunning? Right, enough of the photography distractions. Let's go to Glencoe. We've just arrived in an incredible spot in Glencoe and the, it, the conditions are just perfect. There's a sprinkling of snow on top of the mountains. Not sure you can see that and that. So, we are going to get the drone up at the moment, get some really, really nice cinematic shots and also some photography, some wide angled lens, get the whole landscape in. Again, on my Instagram, I'm, it's a broken record, but on my Instagram, so let's get the drone up. just got the drone up and got some incredible, incredible shots. I actually flew the drone a little close to the ground and I've actually clipped the wing. I managed to recover it, it didn't crash. And I know what you're gonna say, this is becoming like a common theme in all my vlogs, I just crashed the drone, but yeah, basically the, the lower to the ground you get, you get more sort of cinematic blur. So that's why I fly it low to the ground, but I think I'm just taking it a little bit too far. So we're gonna go through the valley a little bit more, see if there's any more incredible reflections, get the drone up again. I've got one more battery left, so get more photos, get more drone shots. I have just stopped at the side of the road because, well, because that. <laughs> so I'm going down to the river at the moment, just going down at the moment, and then I'll hopefully get a really nice composition of the mountain in the background with the bridge in the foreground or the middle ground, and then the foreground being the river. So yeah, it's gonna look sick. <laughs> Just under the iconic bridge. At the moment, you see a car went past. This is the tripod, which is on its last legs, actually. It's a bit screwed, I need a new one. If anyone's got any suggestions for a tripod, let me know, and look at that. Isn't that nuts? Reflection, long exposure, I love it already. Just on the side of the road with uh, that in the background and it's getting really really cold it's sort of dropped in temperature lovely sprinkling of snow over the hills and while i have you here guys if you could subscribe to the channel i would honestly appreciate it so much it would really really help me and with that let me know where you want to see me go next time where do you want me to go what do you think comment below right it's time for a pit stop i am starving and i need a coffee it was an early one this morning a cheeky little sausage wrap or roll some li oh yeah, that's a full thing of lint. Yeah, I went OTT and a coffee. So we're gonna drink this, eat this, not all the lint hopefully, but we'll see how far we get through it. And then head back to Loch Lomond, hopefully get the drone up again, but it kind of looks like it's gonna rain. I'm not gonna lie guys, but yeah, hopefully we can get the drone up again, get some nice cinematic stuff. Uh, wow, this looks like a crime scene. Uh. 
So, latest update is my drone actually ran out of charge. It's weird, it's been acting really, really strange recently, and I think it's because I clipped it, and or I, I'm not sure. I crashed it the other day as well, you probably would have seen in my last vlog. But just to give you guys like a little tour, this is where I work. So this is my Mac right here, I have my headphones, all the rest of it. I think sound is such an important bit in travel videos. And if you listen to my other videos, I'll tag one up here at the top right, the one that I did for my year 2020. I have tons of sound effects going on in the background and this makes your videos more kind of cinematic. But anyway, rant over. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed and I will see you next time.